Risk of Rain 2. Dare I say, one of the best roguelikes ever made. Today, what we're going to be getting into is one of my favorite mods, the Starstorm 2 mod. Has maybe recently, I actually don't know, I just discovered this when doing some uh, uh, cinematic recording for the intro, a new character. The Nemesis Mercenary. And today what we're going to be doing is just having a ridiculously long run with him and uh, having some fun, seeing what kind of silliness he can get up to. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. And first off, just like Nemesis... Uh, Nemesis Commando, he's got his own custom little intro. And Nemesis Mercenary is an interesting one. His shotgun has two bullets that it can fire. Once on mouse click, once on mouse release. His mouse 2 is a slash like that, jump forward. His uh, utility ability is a little strange. Teleport behind the enemy, like so, and then his special is a little hard to explain, so I will just show that off. It's basically a ability that pops up attack vectors for you to teleport to and then you do a big slash that does a lot of damage and when you do that your teleport ability has no cooldown so you can just keep doing it over and over again. He's quite the interesting character. He plays very erratically. You'll be, you'll be jumping around and teleporting a lot. Radar? 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 Bad game. <clears throat> That's a... This is a garbage-ass multi-shot, bro. What is this? my ritual shield talisman. Now, I would highly recommend anybody watching this video who, ha who has or does play Risk of Rain to try out the Starstorm 2 mod if you have not. Uh, setting up mods for Risk of Rain 2 is not super difficult, and Starstorm 2 is, uh, feels pretty at home with Risk of Rain. Uh, you should give it a try. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I also have a bunch of other mods on. Lots of modded items to make the game, uh, you know, more fun. Probably easier too, but we're here for fun, so who cares. Special ability is rather jarring to look at. I'm sure, it won't look any better on the recording either. Especially when you're not super good at aiming like me, it just, you know, kind of just flail the mouse around, try to find something before it goes off. Alright, well, this is probably what we're gonna get for this stage. Not the greatest of starter items, but risk of rain moment, so we will make it work. Unless we get an ATG out of this. That's not an ATG, but that's kind of decent, so I'll take it.
Uh, some of you may notice I have a rather a large amount of Lunar Coins, and that is because I don't want to farm them. Very much cheating. However, I don't really care. First boss. And he's dead. I would like if we could try to find a newt altar, because with uh, some specific mods that I have on newt altars can be a little silly. Oh, look at that. I already have a blue portal. Just a uh, natural one. It's quite lucky. Now I will show you once we finish this stage what I am referring to when we get there. Ooh. I'll always prefer radar over pretty much anything, especially in the uh, earlier stages of the game. However, I will not shy away from a Gorax, because that is pretty good. Oh boy! Delicate watch! My favorite item. with uh, uh oh seem to be getting myself in a little bit of trouble here I certainly don't know what's going on certified risk of rain moment you see how his uh Special giving his teleport no cooldown is uh, quite the useful feature for damage and for just uh, skating around fighting areas. Especially these teleporters. Before I get super OP and I still have to, you know, actually try to live these teleporters, that will be quite the useful advantage, being able to just teleport everywhere. Uh, field accelerator. This item is from Starstorm 2, I believe, and it is so useful. Makes it to where teleporters don't take 20 minutes to charge. Now, as you'll notice when we come in here, I have some mods to change up the bazaar. Uh, it has a scrapper, a uh, red chest that you can open with a fuel array. This purity pool here, which I won't use because I have an unlimited amount of uh, lunar coins and that can get busted quick. Um, this thing right here, get rid of green items, and then over here, a wide assortment of items to buy. And this thing right here gives you money, which I will use, because uh, I want to. And as we see here, plenty of items. I can't buy the timely execution, unfortunately, but I think I will get two goat hooves and wax quail. Is that the Golden Shore? I believe it is. Okay. Yep. It's kind of a useful item. Can I... Let me scrap some stuff. All right. 
Not doing too bad, not doing too bad. Not a whole lot of damage here, but just an all-around good assortment of items. Uh, what is this item? It's Bitterroot, right? Bitterroot is from the... Uh, I don't remember exactly what the mod is called, but it is a mod that adds items from Risk of Rain Returns. It's a little, uh, it's a little good, especially when you're just killing. I am aware Risk of Rain Returns just came out, but to put it simply, I'm very bad at that game and uh, don't find it super fun because I am very bad at it. So you probably will not be seeing a video on that for me unless I uh, get good. Which, uh, that doesn't happen super often, so I wouldn't expect that. I don't know what elite type this guy is. I guess it's just a Raelianite elite typing, but, uh, kind of tanky. You know, there's a part of me that kind of, uh, is worried that they're just going to reuse the new survivors. Uh, from Risk of Rain Returns as DLC characters in this game. Which, if I'm being completely honest with you, I... As long as there are some new characters, to, like actual new characters, to go along with uh, reused survivors from Risk of Rain Returns, I think I'd be okay with that, honestly. Because I think that... can't speak on Drifter because I don't have him in Risk of Rain Returns, but... I really like Pilot, and I think he would probably fit in very well and be super fun in this game. Ah, he's immune. Eh, wish we had some damage over time right about now. That'd be kind of useful. Oh, boy. Was it getting a little, uh, intense? Maybe, uh, maybe coming after a Raelianite this early on was uh, not the play, but, uh, we will attempt to make this work. Got Gorags back up. Ow. Hurt a little bit. some of these Lemurians if we want to live. Mm. Kill some of them, get the health back. Oh my!
Well. We got the Halcyon Seed. This is a modded stage that I have on. Pretty cool, fits in pretty well. If I wasn't familiar with this game, I probably wouldn't even know that it's modded, to be honest with you. Ooh, lens makers. Oh, need okay, alright, well. Needles are a pretty silly item to have, so uh, things are going to start getting busted here pretty soon, I would imagine. For any character that shoots fast or can expel a lot of projectiles, like Nemesis Mercenary Needles, do not recall which mod needles are from, but they are pretty strong, as you can see, for any character that shoots fast or expels a lot of projectiles. You can probably immediately tell a difference in uh, how fast we're killing the enemies. Get some more chest, more items. I'm starving. I need more. Is that a mocha printer? Oh! Okay, cool. First red item. Meat hook. Not too bad. Not too bad. That is a mocha pr mm. Okay, we need to go find a... Uh... See if we can find a scrapper on this level. Otherwise, we're going to have to be taking some chances. Alright, we'll go ahead and do the teleporter. I think we're probably chilling on the teleporter. Construct. Me and Aurelia and I kind of put in the work there. Alright, Sundered Grove. Easy red item if I can find where the chest is. Of course. out of the radius of that. I think I got Aurelia and I here to take blows for me, otherwise this might not have gone too well. Alright. There we go. Failed experiments, that's not horrible. Not worth killing four vagrants on the fourth stage, but not the worst. Eh. That's not the greatest, but I will take it, I suppose. More lens makers are getting that crit chance up pretty high. Soon we won't really even need the needles. Donut. Ow. Loop time. Ooh, modded boss, the wayfarers. 
They are very projectile heavy, so it can be kind of dangerous. in here. No. What items do we have in here, though? Ooh, is those lens makers? Yep. Alright. I will indulge in one lunar item. If we can get it. That doesn't look like a lunar item. I don't know why that's there. There we go. Alright. This will be our goal for this run. After uh, however many stages I want to do, we will obliterate Beads of Fealty and try to beat the Scavenger boss, because I don't think I've ever beat them. I know I've went there, because that's the unlock uh, requirement for the modded character Paladin. I don't think I've ever beat them. Alright, boss fight time. Oh boy, yeah. As you can see, we're starting to uh, become a little powerful. Avoid seed. Don't mind if I do. See one void cradle in there. Uh oh. I have fallen off the map. That's not really, uh. Don't recommend doing that super often. Not good for your health. Ooh, ominous presence. That means. Nemesis Commando. Nemesis Commando boss from Starstorm. If we beat him, this will start uh, making us scale pretty uh, pretty good. Because his item is pretty strong. Alright, Stirring Soul. What this does is every kill drops a little orb, and on picking it up, we have a chance to gain an item. And that I, that chance increases every time we pick up the orb. Or every time we pick up more orbs, I should say. Getting pretty strong. Uh, Nim, Nim Mercenary. Let's go, uh, let's go get rid of him. Where's he at? I saw his healing number somewhere over here. At least I thought I did. Yeah, there he is. I see him. Oh my goodness, what just happened? I think we teleported behind each other. Oh, wow. He got killed. And now we have his item, which is... At the beginning of each stage, we will get access to three red items, and we can choose between the three of them pretty good. Mm, go ahead and hit the teleporter. Oh. 
They just juked me. And now they are dead. Oh, shatters. <laughs> well. That's going to make us even more broken. I have damage over time now on top of everything else. Not that we need the damage over time, because we're insta-killing about anything we shoot at. A ceremonial. Yep, give me that. Can't pass up a ceremonial. Alright, now Dire Seeker should spawn in. And there he is. And there he goes. Goodbye, Stone Titans. Definitely that, yeah. Well. <laughs> Grab all these orbs. Give me some items. Shouldn't be too bad as long as we don't get unlucky. Oh, spare drone part. Colonel drone man. Gotta get Colonel drone man. Here we are at the bazaar. As you can see, I uh, have quite a few more items since we last uh, convened. So here's the deal, we're going to be taking the next Celestial Portal because I could keep going forever at this point. I am kind of untouchable at the moment. Everything dies before it even spawns in. I have a feeling it can probably kill this guy pretty easily. So, next Celestial Portal we're taking, we're gonna, or the next Celestial Portal that pops up we're gonna be taking, because there is not much of a point to me, uh, just, you know, keeping on. It's not very interesting. Uh, things are just dying instantly, I'm not even really doing anything, so, uh, well... Yeah. All right, here we are. Moment fractured. So, onwards to obliteration. Here we go to fight the scavenger. Moment hole. There he is, hanging out over there. healthy. And he's dead anyway. Okay. Well, I give him this. He lived longer than the newt did. That, so that's something. This is not uh, super important for me to grab all of these because I have an infinite amount, but I keep grabbing them anyway. Alright, well. What is this over here? Oh, log. Cool. Well. That will be it. Mm. Well, 
That was uh, quite the run there. Well, that'll be the end of the video. Uh, nice showcase of Nemesis Mercenary and a nice showcase of just the insanity that is Risk of Rain 2 uh, itself.